This is Jordan Tao with JT News. Make sure you smash that like button, smash that subscribe button. Okay, so Chef G, Nazi BK, and Smooky Margilia put their differences aside and put on a performance in jail for other inmates. Styles P organized this at Rikers. Um, it's, it's pretty interesting. <laughs> I'm going to be honest. Um, yeah. So anyways, then we got Rick Ross laughed when they said Meek Mill has a $20 million net worth. Meek, uh, Rick Ross said, yeah, like it's worth more. Now, this is what I respect about Rick Ross. He's always going to big people up bigger than really where they're at. Okay, so Meek Mill, we already know, is having not crazy money troubles, but millionaire money troubles. You know, it's very different than any money troubles you and I would have. So... Meek Mill had too many houses. He bought too many things. Okay, so he had a house in Atlanta. He probably has like two houses in Philly. One for him, one for his mom. I think he has three. And one for his grandma. He's spent a lot. He's made a lot of money and he spent a lot of money, right? He hasn't been going on tour, really. And a lot of money hasn't been coming in. He's been hanging out with billionaires. Okay? Now he's getting back to work with Rick Ross. Now, Meek Mill claims right now that he owns all of his masters. That was his latest tweet as of today. I own all my masters. I doubt he owns his masters. I'm going to be honest with you. Okay. I think here in forward, he owns 100% of his masters in publishing, which is still an accomplishment. And I think he'll, he, he would have had to buy back his masters. They're not just giving you back your masters unless you do a deal with them, you know? You would have had to work that deal out and then deliver a few more albums, right? He said, I own 100% of my masters in publishing. Now I'm going to rap. Now I'm going to rap. I'm going to have a ball with it. I think from here forward, you know, from this album, he has well Ross and everything. From here forward, he has his masters, okay? I think he broke a different deal with Rick Ross. Rick Ross and him worked out a different deal with another label. Probably Gamma. And he says, I'm going to rap and have a ball with it and make music that touch people worldwide. For licensing or distribution, distribution, me and all Dream Chaser artists are totally independent. We are looking for top tier distribution. So you don't have distribution. You know, this guy is like, for being in the game for as long as he has and not having any any connections to go and you get your friends with all these billionaires your friends with jay-z your friends with all these people and you can't line up distribution quietly you, you don't put that on twitter like hey hey holla at me holla at me you know no it's sloppy man and i like meek mill i think i like i like i like the uh rick ross meek mill album love it okay but this guy just had to sell his house to Rick Ross, bro, at a discount. Rick Ross helped him out and bailed him out. <sighs> bro, he, this isn't a guy that has a lot of cash. He has enough money probably to, like, last him. Like, he has enough money to take care of what he has. You know, and he's been downsizing, and, re, you know, he, he's going to get back to work. But, bro, he's been... He's been putting out albums for uh, 11 years now. And to be in this position is not good. Right now, you you should be in a position of F you, where you don't, you don't really need anybody. You're covered, you know? Your kids are covered. Your baby moms are covered. And now it's just you're pointing for, you're, you're coming from a direction of, I don't need anybody. But he's not. Buster Rhymes releases the track list of his high, I don't know if it's highly anticipated, Blockbuster album for 1124. Caesar Peanut. Oh, yeah, let's look at the track list on this thing. If you don't know what Blockbuster is, you're really young. <laughs> Blockbuster video. Quavo's on it. Bia, Young Thug. We, we, I think we heard the Bia song. Uh, young Blue. Koi Ray, The Baby and T-Pain, Burner Boy. I mean, it's just strong. Swiss Beats, Chris Brown and Shansia, Giggs, Kodak Black, Moray, 
Man, I haven't heard from Moray in a while, right? Big Tigger. Okay. Big Tigger from Rap City. What's he doing? Is he rapping? And then we got Caesar Pina. He's putting out t-shirts of uh, uh, Tony the Closer. He says, Tony, where are you? Anybody with information, please let me know. His last whereabouts was on the California 405 Highway. Someone t cheap t-shirts, possible sightings, Atlanta, Chicago, Miami. All right, this isn't a time to joke, bro. You, you got, like, real charges, bro. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, Metro Boomin claims Andre 3000 claim played the flutes on Mask Off. It's possibly true because Future was right there and didn't deny it. <laughs> then we got Boosie. He's about to take Kodak Black to court. Boosie's playing a lot of police games now, huh? Things, games that he wouldn't play before, and he would he would yell at other people for playing with him. He says, damn, Kodak Black, even though we fell out, we could have did fair business. Kodak Black version, ease your mind. So he wants to take him to court now, too. Yo, Boozy's like, has no morals and principles, really. When you really boil down to it, it looks like he does, but he'll sell his own family out for a dollar because he did bad business. Um, anyways, this is Jordan Tao with JT News. Make sure you smash that like button, smash that subscribe button. I'll check you guys in the next one. Peace.